Hello everyone! This is going to be my very first video in English. I thought it would be fun to do something in a different language, so I hope you like it. I will leave the link to this video in its Spanish version down below. Today I will be doing a review on the She Reads Truth Bible. This is my She Reads Truth Bible, and as you can see, I got the one in grey linen. But it comes in different presentations, uh, navy leather, brown leather, and coral. I particularly like the contrast of the golden details with the grey color in my Bible. Overall, the thing I like the most about this Bible is just how beautiful it is. So pleasant to the eye. It definitely inspires me to open it each single morning. When we open the Bible, we'll find the intro and welcome pages, an index and recommendations on how to connect with God's Word. They also explain their motivation as the She Reads Truth team to publish a Bible. For those of you who don't know who they are, She Reads Truth is a Bible study and devotionals platform made by women for women. I found about them about four years ago and I haven't been able to stop reading their devotionals ever since. Okay, so let's get into the books. One of my favorite things about the She Reads Truth Bible is that each book in the Bible comes with a key or featured verse on the cover. The verse is supposed to represent or summarize the central message of the book and its design is absolutely beautiful and different for each Bible book. The Bible has assigned colors for each group of books, historic, major and minor prophets, etc. And it also contains several referential maps that are beautifully made and help you contextualize your Bible studying process. As you can see, colors in this Bible are so bright and contrasting. I think everything that's visual about this Bible, it's just perfect and so enjoyable. Song of Songs is just another example of the beautiful layout they have done for each book, which actually suits its mood. There are also unique features in each book, charts to help you find specific themes, indexes, and even infographics. Here I am showing you just one of the many ways I decorate this Bible. It's versatile in the sense that even though pages are very thin, you can use almost any kind of pen or material on it. As I said before, I am crazy about the art for key verses. Here you can see Obadiah, Philippians and how lovely they look. Another feature in this Bible is the study plans. There is a section in each book for you to plan your daily reading and go deeper with other books of the Bible that are connected to the message you are reading about. Since the pages are one column and leave space on the right or left, I have an area to make notes, reminders or my own little art during my reading. This serves me so well because I love keeping track of the things I get from my contact with the Word. I am so happy about this Bible featuring the She Reads Truth devotionals. They have included some of their devotionals within each book for you to be able to meditate on the truth and get other women's perspective on what has been revealed to them. I am sure you can already tell this Bible just keeps getting prettier and prettier over the pages. Nevertheless, I feel this Bible is just not about being nice and appealing, but it also seeks to provide you with ideas, tools, and ways to connect you to the beauty and power of God's Word. The layout in Proverbs is not only beautiful, but helpful in making it easier for you to interact with the content and find what you want and need. For those of you who are into lettering or calligraphy, I have good news. The tumble brush pencils are wearable on these pages and they look gorgeous. In the final pages, you will find some other tools, like a plan to read the Bible in one year, which clearly I haven't started yet, biblical references, um, and also more beautifully drawn maps, which are quite useful for further study. And 
we also have some other referential charts for people like me who barely know the difference between a kilo and a pound. <laughs> So this is basically what you will find in the She Reads Truth Bible. I absolutely recommend it. Um, though it's a little pricey, I think it's totally worth the investment. I use it and enjoy it every single day. I actually wish they had a Spanish version of this Bible because I would like everyone to have access to this kind of art that reflects part of the beauty of the Word of God. I really hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and share it on your social media. I would like to leave you with an image of my very favorite Kiever's art and is the one that's in the book of Hosea. So thanks so much for watching and see you next time. Bye!